Hello everybody and welcome to Responsible Day Trading. Today we're going to talk about something that's important to know how to use which is contract rollover. We do have our June 20 contract expiring here very very soon and we'll have to work on the September 20 contract. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. There's one really simple way and there's one way that takes a couple extra steps. We're going to talk really, really quick about the way that takes a couple extra steps first. So first you'll see instruments and instrument lists, right? And if we want to go to instrument lists, if we go to instrument, it'll just list them all out individually. You can see here futures. I've actually already added the 920 and I was playing around with it and added the 1220 contract, which we won't be using for a while. We can actually remove that 1220 contract from there at the moment. There is also, I've added the 920 MES contract, so that can be easily seen. But if you wanted to add these contracts, you would just highlight on them, you would edit it, and you would add the contract that you need to add here. Uh, you'll see you can't see the previous contracts because there's no reason to add the previous contracts. And we can add them there, then we would just go up here and you could find that current contract and switch that chart over to the current contract. Now that can help us to see if we really wanna roll over right now, if we wanna pay attention to what's happening at the old contract versus the new contract. Now there's another way that we can do this, okay? So we can go to tools, we can go to database management, and this is pretty much the easiest of ways to do this. This will roll over all of our contracts at once for us. It will move everything to where it needs to go. So if we just click rollover, now you can see rolling over future instruments will update the expiry of the instruments. And you can read through this and say that, you know, these changes on workspaces means you need to save what you want to save and all that jazz. Hopefully you've already saved it before you do all this. And I can click yes, and it will roll over those contracts automatically for me. If I do it on an individual basis, so if I was to do just the one of the contracts like you, I showed you here just a little while ago, then I'm gonna have to change each and every chart to reflect that. So I would have to go over here to the 610, I would have to switch that to the 920 chart instead of being on the 620 chart. So you can see I've already made the rollover, I'm in the 920 now, I won't be trading any more of the 620 since I made that official switch over. And if I wanted to change one that wasn't on the list right here, then I could just go down here to the futures. And I know you can't see what's at the top of this, but it has all of the markets that I can roll over to if I wanted to do that at this time. So if you don't want it to officially change you over, then you'll want to just do it the way that I showed you initially. You're going to bring up your control center. You'll go to tools. You'll go to instrument list. You'll go to futures, and then you'll add the ones that you want to add here. So if I wanted it to be on 1220, I would add it in there. Otherwise, I've made the switch over officially myself to the 920 contract. So you can add what you want to here and then do it manually, little by little, or you can just skip all that step and have it move you all over at once whenever you go to the control center, tools, database management, and rollover. You can see everything's rolled over here, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. I mean, even on my daily chart, we're already rolled over at that point. You can see right here. Um, and guys, I just want to point out how we pulled down and created what looks like a reversal bar right here at the EMAs. So that's where we're getting this little bit of a pushback to the upside from. One last thing, guys, you can see as you um, change that over, the lines will remain in the price because we still have all of those bounces that happened previously that we're paying attention to as we pull down to them. But the MACDs will have to replace all of my horizontal lines here, which is not a big deal. It takes me a matter of minutes to get it all set up again. 
and um, and so I'm not too worried about it. I'll get more of this going here in just a little bit, but just showing you how whenever you make those shifts and make those changes, you need to pay attention to a few things like that that are going to uh, change as well. So I'll have to go back through all of my charts and just add those lines. Shouldn't take me more than five to seven minutes to do all that. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I just wanted you to be able to see the different ways to roll over your contracts. Uh, if you want, remember, we're going to be trading the September contract here very, very soon. The June contract will no longer be able to be tradable. Remember, if it has stopped moving completely, it's probably not your internet and you need to roll those contracts over. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. If you've got questions over it, definitely let me know. And as always, guys, you know, I look forward to catching you on the profitable side. Mm -hmm.